Lebanon has a new prime minister. Former culture minister Tamam Salam has received support from across the political spectrum, including the powerful Shia movement Hezbollah. Now, the outgoing Prime Minister Najib Mikati resigned two weeks ago over several internal disputes. Now, Rula Amin joins us live from the Lebanese capital, Beirut. Rula, what more can you tell us about Lebanon's new Prime Minister, Tamam Salam? He's 67 years old, and he's a former minister, a member of parliament. His father was a prime minister. And today, he won the endorsement and the approval of 124 members of parliament out of 128. Only four did not endorse him. And that's an overwhelming support. However, this uh, seemingly very strong consensus actually hired many difficulties ahead of SLAM. All these people who support him and endorsed him expect different things from him, and he has to steer a very difficult Lebanon and a government in the coming few months. Well, give us a sense as to the sort of challenges that he's going to be facing as he takes on this uh, position. There are internal and there are regional. And internally, there are parliamentary elections that are due in June. And the different Lebanese factions have not yet agreed on what kind of law governs these elections. And so each each different Lebanese party wants to uh, kind of draw these laws in order to, for them to win the majority at the parliament. So that is, is a very tricky challenge. But more importantly is that Lebanon has been polarized and divided by the waging war in neighboring Syria. And the differences here in Lebanon over what's happening in Syria have uh, brought a lot of sectarian and political tensions to Lebanon. Many times in the past few months, violence erupted in many areas, in different areas like in Tripoli, in the Beqa. And Najib Miqati will, uh, not Najib Miqati, he's the former prime minister, but Salah, uh, Tamam Islam will face a lot of prefer- pressure from different parties on how to steer this government and how to deal with the Syrian crisis. What well, the good news for Lebanese is that Two weeks ago, they felt this country could go into absolute power vacuum. With this consensus that they are seeing to bring the Mem Islam to the government, at least the message they are getting is that the different political parties and their backers and allies in the region, including Saudi Arabia and Iran, for now are interested to keep this place quiet and calm and to contain all kind of tensions that are stemming from the Syrian crisis. Well, let's talk about the Syrian angle here, something that you mentioned just a few uh, seconds ago, and you mentioned pri- uh, previous uh, Prime Minister Mikati. Well, he had adopted a policy of disassociation with the Syrian war. Knowing what we know of Salam, how do you think he will go with the Syrian issue? I think theoretically he will try again to disassociate the government from getting involved in what's happening in Syria if he wants to form a national unity government. Now, he was endorsed today as a prime minister. He still has to form a cabinet. He still has to divide the cabinet seats between the different Lebanese parties. And that is a major challenge and and very tricky. But the issues he has to deal with, one is the fact that many Lebanese parties here those with the government of Bashar al-Assad and those who oppose him and with the rebels are heavily involved in what's happening in Syria. How will he deal with that? Is he going to uh, try to protect the borders more strictly? Will he try to stop all the kind of flow of weapons and men into Syria. The other major issue is the Syrian refugees here. The numbers are growing by the day. There are at least 400,000 registered or waiting to be registered. Other estimates say there are a million Syrian refugees here. It's a major task and challenge, not only for SLAM, but for the country. How to support them, how to help them, without adding additional problems on the Lebanese society and the Lebanese economy. So far, for example, all Lebanese factions don't want and they are not accepting the fact that these refugees have to be uh, hosted in refugee camps. It's an issue that many people here uh, are very, very much agree on. And, but it's very difficult also to assist these refugees without having hosting them in refugee camps. That's one of the main issues the Mem Slam will have to deal with. Rula, thank you very much for speaking with us. Rula, I mean, they're talking to us from Beirut.